Hey you guys, welcome back to Black Tea, it's your girl Ebony. Oh hey you guys, so I have two topics that I want to discuss in this video. The first topic being none other than Chief Keef's baby mama coming out to say that she had a little rendezvous just this past weekend with little baby. And she is saying that this is the reason Jada and baby have broken up. Go ahead and check this out. Cause Jada don't know me. Like y'all asking why Jada? We don't know each other. We spoke over a little baby. You know what I'm saying? So it, I guess homegirl still mad. I don't know. So last weekend, me and little baby linked up. It's two fees you must pay when you have a girlfriend in the industry. You must pay your hush money fee, and you have to pay your transaction fee. Okay. So what happened was everything was going good. When it was time for the hush money, some of the things that I had required from him, he you strike another. Um he thought it was included in the in the payment. So he didn't want to pay all of the hush money, okay? So bam. By you not paying the hush money, I'm gonna expose you. I've been doing this for years. I've been in the industry about five, six years. Y'all know from me being chief key baby mama to six nine to walk a flocka to everybody else so basically that was it like um he didn't pay his fee so as you see chief keeps baby mother also said she spoke to jada about this situation and jada was upset well jada is actually calling this baby mama out and jada is actually revealing that she's never spoken to this woman this is what jada had to say no we didn't speak this is so weird y'all like oh my gosh keep my name out that mess i'm so tired of my name being attached to foolishness i want out now several people jumped under the comments one person saying this she seen him throwing the hush money at the strip club and said f it i'm going public so she's saying she's a prosty that's a tad illegal sis just take your funds and go lmao this is very much sad so as you see people also agree that like girl why are you online even broadcasting this but i also have to bring up the part of jay Jada saying that she is tired of her name being attached to foolishness. Jada, you have allowed your name to be attached to this because you've publicly went back to little baby after he has disrespected you allegedly. So people are always going to attach you to the mess because you have continued to go back. Now I'm not saying that she deserves any of this, but there is a reason why people keep attaching her. You guys, woo, this is a high miss now the next topic i do want to discuss is none other than megan the stallion responding to her label owner carl crawford after he allegedly is suing her in court and y'all she's calling him a heel hopping manager chill talk about a mess now it all started when tmz came out right to say that megan the stallion was getting sued now as soon as they came out with their article megan the stallion took to twitter and this is what she had to say let me go first the man over my label said i don't make him any money now he countersuing trying to keep me on his label because he wants to make more money if i ain't making you no money why not just drop me greedy ass men my lawyers asked him for an expense report money 1501 supposedly has spent on me why this grown man put his jewelry and chains on there lord free me from this joke ass label i choose not to say nothing back about court in a dress ish online but i'm getting tired of seeing people paint me as the bad guy 24 7 the last girl on 1501 mad at this man too too. Another person says, at this point, Megan the Stallion is going to have to show us the bullet wound or something. She says, B words like you have actual C U N brains. D eating A B words. My hospital records are public record. The DA has made a statement. Y'all choosing to be dumb at this point. You better hope a man never does to you and nobody, especially women, believe you. Now, after this happened, Carl Crawford, the owner of 1501, decided to clap 
back at Megan and he said this, stop playing victim Megan, you haven't paid for a show since 2019, hiding behind Rock Nation, you can keep the BS mixtape and send over that straight drop whenever you are ready. Now this actually triggered Megan because then she went off on Carl, even accusing Carl of popping pills. This is what Megan had to say, Carl, I don't want to be signed to your pill popping butt, you talking about I ain't paid for a show and you sound slow, I'm the artist, I don't pay you directly, maybe fight with the man you signed to and you might see some money, you effing powder head, you hiding behind Jay Prince, Carl, you got a whole contact with 300 and talking ish to me like I got your money, you are attacking me, why, because you want to be famous, not rich, ask Kevin Lyles where your money at stupid, another person says she finna delete this, I already know, Megan says I never delete ish, worry about your MF self, also how can I owe you any of my money outside of music when your team can't even provide actual statements of what I owe, you also haven't paid me since 2019, your team signed off on something for the hotties to count it as an album, now it's not jokes, people love bringing up Rock Nation like hell yeah my team is great, am I supposed to have a bad one, and what about it b word, bye, I'm not speaking to nobody else on here, see y'all in court, now Paul Crawford did respond to Megan on Instagram, he said this, hey y'all believe that ish all y'all want to, I don't got Twitter fingers, so I'm not about to type ish all day, but I promise, everything said about me, about that matter is a lie, the truth will be out soon enough, Carl Crawford goes on to say this, defamation claim on the way, this all coming from a bona fide alcoholic who f the whole industry, including her best friend's nigga, now hold up, now that's some tea, Carl Crawford allegedly is saying that Miss Megan the Stallion aka Clubfoot has f the whole industry, allegedly? my god now that's some tea right there allegedly carl said it not me but this is some tea what you mean she f the whole industry chill a mess so this is just a hot mess for Megan to do all that online. I think it was a buildup, but at the same time, if she did lie on Carl Crawford, that is unfortunate. This situation is just too messy for me. It's all these back and forths, and I feel like we still ain't to the truth. It's just a bunch of smoke and mirrors, child. It's a mess. Now the last topic I do want to discuss is none other than Nicki Minaj clocking the barbs because the barbs yet again believe that Nicki Minaj could be featured on Lotto's album. Talk about a mess, I thought we've already been here before. Well, I guess we are back here yet again. So you guys know that Lotto did basically reveal the track list for her new album. On her song Big Energy, she did blur out the name and a lot of barbs took to social media because they believed that the name said Nicki Minaj. We actually saw this same theme when Doja Cat released her Hot Pink album and she had a song blurred, Barb's ran and believed that it was Nicki Minaj on the song and it wasn't. Now Nicki Minaj did take to Twitter to basically respond to the Barb's and remind them, are you guys listening to me? Nicki Minaj starting with this, not again, y'all serious? Like the dumbest, life is yes, capital blessed, all smiles. Nicki said, I created this ish, Tyler, 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 grab his mic, y'all graduated from elementary school and this is what gets me. So as you guys see, Nicki Minaj is basically saying, not again. How are y'all serious? She already told y'all a couple weeks ago that she did not have any collabs. So you guys should have already known that if Lotto did post that blurred out track list that it wasn't Nicki Minaj. And I thought this was kind of funny, especially when Nicki clocks the barbs because she does it in a loving way, but she's also trying to remind them, use your brain. If I have something coming out, I will let you guys know. So let me know what you guys think about these topics down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys to the moon and back and we'll chop it up down below. Bye guys.